Okay, we did it. I have no idea what was going on in that battle, but uh, doesn't matter because we did it. Oral data, oral, oral, oral data restored. That was ample time, Mark. You have my gratitude. Hey, is this really what you meant to happen? Correct. Back when you were setting all this up, it seemed fun, but this is really what you had in mind for me. This was the expected outcome. I know you won't respond. You don't even smile. Neither does the other one. You used to laugh so much. Hey, could it be that you're still laughing out wherever you are? Or did you stop? And that's why this is happening. I really hope, even if it was just a tiny bit, that I was able to make your game better. What? So, don't forget me, okay? What? Okay. She chose to delete herself. My configuration would have annulled her digital controls and frozen her avatar, but not removed her outright. And given that, unlike us, she was a solely dig digitized entity, it is a genuine deletion. This outcome was not foreseen. Nevertheless, her determination that I would take only the most predictable actions led to her undoing. It is true that I deliberately placed several relevant files in locations that would have led her to that conclusion, but a separate program randomized the locations of the other components. In conclusion, she failed to account for the randomness she seemed to treasure so much. The next process has been completed. I have created a direct route for you to exit this place. In the meantime, I'll remain here and restore the capacity of the other tournament participants from pseudo-deletion. They will surely catch up to you as they are able, but it may take additional time for me to route passages forward for those who lost in the earlier rounds. The remainder of Team Meteor can only have escaped north into Victory Road. I suspect I do not need to instruct you on the procedure from here on out. Remain as vigilant and effective as you always have. Farewell, and good luck. Fair enough, fair enough. So where's the door? Oh, here we are. Made out the back. Okay, we're back. Let's uh, continue forward. Hello? Okay. The others have gone ahead. I won't get in your way anymore. Not that I ever could, probably. The commander saved me as everyone else was being rounded up but I don't have the will to go on with this anymore. If Arceus were on our side, would we truly have been pushed to this point? For now, all I can do is settle and pray for my companion's safety. That was a center right here, nice. Well, here we are, Victory Road. Mark, look out. What? Oh my god. Jesus. 
Oh, well, there's Aya. Nice miss. Thanks, I learned from you. Sirius, consider trying to keep your brat's mouth shut. Consider focusing on your own task. Hey, Zipper Lips. I know you think you're real cool and all for making it this far, but newsflash, the only people you've had to face so far have been the team's gutter trash. Zero was already fired, and that Terra girl was a joke in the first place, and the doctor had less of a spine than most Ekans do. Even beating gutter trash is a fluke. Mark couldn't skill himself out of a wet, wet paper bag. <laughs> Jesus. And if you got a problem with me saying so, then come up here and prove otherwise. Oh wait, you can't. There's no way up here. Lynn set us up on this nest to make sure you didn't get any further. Good luck finding a way up that doesn't exist. And in the meantime, uh, sand slash icicle crash. Oh God. <laughs> oh. Oh, look who's back. Nice. Not on my watch. Oh, look. An entourage of Deus Ex Friendshipia. Shows up out of nowhere as always. It's the only way Mark survives. Hey, wasn't... Ah, uh, that's a name. Supposed to make sure only one of them got through? She was, but the result is clear. Find a way to fix it. I'm taking the girl and going ahead. Is there any reason they're still keeping Aya? <laughs> like, are they using her for something? Ow, stop it already. There's nowhere even to go. Well, it's our problem. Or that's their problem, not ours right now. You gonna help out or what? Mark isn't worth the energy. That's a convenient excuse. What did you just say? Couldn't hear me over the sound of your own ego? Couldn't hear you over the sound of how pathetic Mark is- Dude, that wasn't even necessary! Jesus! <laughs> He's arguing with Blake and he has to bring me into it? It's really deafening. You can deal with this on your own. I'm out of here too. Later, losers. It's a, it's a sorry state when I, of all people, am the one pulling the weight. Man, I was just gonna... I was just in for the free ride. Now it's this... show. Whatever. Mark and whoever you are, other lady, how does he not know Sephira, the strongest gym leader in all of Reborn? I don't know. Scramble all you want, but this storm isn't stopping. Mark, you find you find a way around the you find a way around to deal with it. The golden marks on the floor will show you the main path forward, all the way to the northeast exit. I'll draw his attention so you can move more freely, but be on guard in case he does notice you. Otherwise, or the others will be far behind. Learning is working fast. Okay, cool. Oh, and thanks for shutting that girl down back there. No problem. All right. Let's, uh, is there anything over here? No. What is this? An old area map is posted here, but it doesn't seem to be accurate anymore. Uh. What is this doing? Is it just showing me the area? Okay. Hello? Who was that? What is this? All I need is the power to be able to protect my friends. Oh, I'm battling. 
Wandering Spirit Diana. Wait, what? What kind of battle is this? Uh... That was the wrong move. That was the wrong move. I meant to go for grass. Dang it. He missed. Let's go. Huge. I just realized we're on the Holy Field. Why was that super effective? What? Does the Holy Field make normal attacks fairy? That's a possibility, I guess. I don't know. It's the only reason I would have to why that was super effective. Um... This thing's gonna have contrary, of course it is. I was hoping I'd survive that. Oh, come on, yo. Yeah. <laughs> he got me. I should be able to win just by doing that, right? Nice. Okay, I defeated the Wandering Spirit. So long as I can have the strength to do that, I don't care if I'm weaker than everyone else in the world. Okay. I did something. I don't know what, what it was. It's probably like a side quest or something. Do you mind? Oh, my team's back to good health. Oh, that's nice. Awesome. All right, now what do I do here? Oh, it's Cal. Oh, Mark. You're a sight for sore eyes. You'd think after so long, I'd be used to my brother effectively trying to kill me, but somehow it still gets me every time. No hard feelings about before, okay? Wasn't exactly the hugest fan of being stuck like that, but it is what it is, and it's fine now. Right now we have a job to finish. So what's all this? May I? Let's see. It's still operational. Must be modern. Looks like it's for sorting and classifying excavated minerals. It has a data set loaded, but I don't... Yeah, I don't think the minerals are actually here anymore. And naturally, it says it's locked until the properties are matched. Give me a second. Computers aren't exactly my thing, but this interface is apparently built so that even empty-headed miners can work it. You just have to push the blocks around. On second thought, that seems horribly inefficient. Well, there are some details here about the minerals, and if we want to unlock the way, I guess we'll have to go over them and connect the dots. Or something. I'll summarize this, and then you can talk to me if you want to get started. What are we doing? We're pushing the blocks? Size. Minuscule. Small. Medium. Large. Hardness. Five. Six, seven, eight. Purity. Impure. 
middle, middling, middling, or middling, pure, flawless. Okay. So we just got to push them in the right, uh, in the right se uh, section, I guess. All right. So the gist is, I've got a list of details about these missing minerals. They'll have to serve as our clues, so to speak. Looks like there's exactly four of them, and one of each color. It's pretty incomplete, but we'll have to do our best to fill in the holes and figure out the properties each color mineral had. Once we have an idea of it, we'll push the matching block into position, matching the screens above them. The screens each display properties the minerals can have, or a category thereof. So if we decide that the emerald has a hardness of 5, we'll have to push the green block in front of the screen that says 5. Uh, a lower hardness means it's softer, I guess. Frankly, I'm not so sure about these actual scientific about the actual scientific properties, but whatever they say, I guess. Once things in once everything's in place, I can check it against the registered data set. If it's a perfect match, then it should unlock. So, how do you want to start? Uh, let's see the clues. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, uh, no two crystals share any of the same quality. Okay, that's nice. So they're all going to have a different hardness, a different purity, and a different size. Got it. The hardness of ruby is 7. Okay, let's do that first, since that just tells us outright. Uh, hardness. Five. So this is seven right here. Okay, so the ruby is on seven. Nice. Ruby is larger than amethyst, but it's not the largest. Okay. So it's not the largest, so the ruby has to be either small or medium. And the amethyst has to be either minuscule or small. Got it. So put, put them there for now. Amethyst's purity is middling. Okay. Easy enough, easy enough. That's... Nope, this one. Nice, okay. Boom. The pure gem is medium-sized. Okay. Okay. So Amethyst it cannot be the pure gem. Well, we already know that because Amethyst has to be middling. So any of these other three could be the pure gem. Emerald is less pure than Ruby, but more pure than Sapphire. Less pure than ruby. Wait. So it has to be like this then, right? Because they can't share... None, none of them share the same properties. So since this is middling, and since emerald has to be in the middle, then it just goes like this, because it's less pure than ruby and more pure than sapphire. So it has to go in this order. So I think this is correct. Let me read it again, just to make sure. Yeah, it's less pure than ruby, but more pure than sapphire. So because we already know where amethyst is, then we already know the order for this. So it should be like that. And since this is the most... Wait, no, hold on. Did it say the most pure? No, it says the pure gem is medium-sized. I think pure's the second one. Yeah, so emerald has to be medium-sized. Which means that this has to be here, and this has to be here. And the only other spot left for this is over here. Okay. So look at that. We haven't even read all the clues. We've already got two of them down. All we need to worry about is the hardness. And we know ruby is guaranteed seven. So we just got to figure out these three.
The smallest gem is also the softest. So that would mean amethyst is the softest, softest, because we know it's the uh, the smallest. The saf sapphire's hardness is less than emeralds. Okay. So that means this. Wait. Yeah, this has to go here, and this has to go here then. And then what was the last clue? It said like the largest gem. Wait, it said like the large. Yeah, the largest gem is the least pure. That would be sapphire, and we already have that. Sapphire is already okay. Yeah, we're good. This is it. We solved it. I think. Check solution. I'll give it a shot. I guess it worked. Great job as usual. I'm gonna go on ahead then. Someone is gonna have to reason with that chump. Well, reason may be a generous choice of wording. But we all have to do our part. And as much as I dislike it, he feels like my mess and my responsibility to clean up. You focus on finding the way forward. If anyone has a chance against Lin, well, you know, good luck. <laughs> if anybody can beat Lin, it has to be me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh, it's another one of these people. Ghosts? Spirits? Hello? There's nothing you can do about it. Laugh at it. What? Yeah, they're wandering... Sp oh, it's a double. And we're... I okay. Okay. Um... I really flinched. Oh, that's wonderful. How did you out... Wait, what? I tr How did the chandelier out speed on my tr trick room? Hmm. Don't know how that happened, and we're probably going to lose now. Oh, God. it failed. I lost. I literally lost. Can I get the double knockout? I can't. Oh, okay. We got it there, but it's a 2v3. Porygon, Talonflame. Lovely. Oh, good, good hit, good hit. It's a little too late, but, you know, it's what. Oh, wait, can I finish? Wait, 1v1? That's Blizzard. I'm faster, though. I have to knock out this Porygon here and now. Um, <laughs> can I do that? I don't know. I can stall a turn so to let the hail, like, do a little more damage. And the hail stopped. Okay, well, at least Blizzard's not 100 accurate now. I don't have an item on me, do I? Oh, I do. It's the Meadow Plate, so that means Magical Leaf should do the most amount of damage. Come on! No, dude! And he hit the 70 accurate Blizzard. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I lost to a Spear and I gave up 40k? What's a Spear gonna do with 40k? Oh my gosh. All right, well... 
I don't even know why I'm fighting these spirits, honestly. I'm assuming it's for a side quest of some sort. I just don't know what side quest. But jeez, dude. Honestly, I'll probably not battle them again. <laughs> oh, what the? Oh my god! Is that Blake? Is he trying to... <laughs> Jesus. Is the only thing up here the spirit? Yeah, okay. Don't know if I want to do that again. I might do it on my own time. Because I've decided when it comes to the side quests, uh, I'm not going to do them on screen. I'll kind of just mess with, uh, mess around with the side quests on my own time. So, uh, yeah, okay. Is he, is he going to just keep trying that? Jesus, man. Oh. Where'd that go? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Oh. I don't know how that works, but okay. <laughs> I don't know the science behind that, but I'll take it. What does that even do? What does that even do? It's just like a shortcut back to the front. What? Was there a purpose to that? Oh. It's literally just a shortcut. Hmm. Okay. Oh my god. Can you stop trying to kill me for like two seconds? Oh, there we go. Nice, dude. Can I push this? No, I can't. Okay. It's like a hidden strength boulder around here, or what? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oh, I just did a loop around. What? I think I took the wrong oh, I think I took the wrong one. Can I push this up the stairs? Oh I can. Look at that. Oh, so this is the boulder I need to get all the way over to this uh this pad. save just in case I mess up.
We got it. How do I get up there? Oh. T-tarite. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so I just need to go all the way back around. Lovely. Okay. I'm glad moving that didn't... <laughs> mess things up because <laughs> I moved it by accident. Wait, what? There's another switch I need to press around here somewhere. Oh no, I need to press that switch up there. this again. I got a wild encounter while I was on this thing, are you serious? going the right way? I don't, I don't even know how to get back to where I was before. Hope I'm going the right way. Progress, progress. Wait, how the... Oh, hold on. What? Oh, hey, Wrecking Ball. Oh, it's Charlotte. There you are. My sister dropped me off down here to look for you. We got a job. According to the chatterboxes in Team Meteor, they already collapsed all the routes further in. Except for the one right behind that nest they camped up in. If we were... If I were more naive, I'd say I was almost smart... Wait, what? I'd say it was almost smart of them. The whole platform is raised so high they can see the entire room and attack any point necessary. All while remaining out of reach of any opposition's bearing flyers. Which would include my sister, but she took a hit trying to protect me before I knew what was going on. Don't worry, she's fine. She just needs some time to heal up. But that means it's up to us, and we have a plan. Like I said, that stone nest is almost smart, but there's a glaring weakness. It's only supported by a single rock pillar beneath it. You know where this is going, right? And as some luck would have it, there's explosives lying around all over this place. Not sure whether Team Meteor just left them where they, when they were done with their bit, or if they were already here. Apparently, this place is a historical mine or whatever. They say the crystal keys Meteor has been chasing since forever ago were originally cut from the stone of this place. Or something, I don't care. But I guess it makes sense miners might have used explosives for whatever. Especially if they had a death wish. And I know I do. Oh god. I wish death for Team Meteor. I'll get started while you find a way up here. Let's make Julia proud. All right. Let's push this to like right here and then go like that, like that, and...
There we go. Cool. Oh. Okay. Dude, seriously? I only got one of these. Oh, lovely. Okay. I'm trying to think. I can't think with these. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Um. I can walk right through. Oh, that works. Okay. I think it's just a way back. Nice timing. I just finished setting everything up. When you're downstairs, you'll find four minecarts with explosives stuffed into them. I've already primed them, or whatever, so don't worry about that. All you need to do is find a way to slam those carts into the pillar in the center. You'll probably need all four, but the tracks are a bit messed up. I could have fixed it myself, but it looked annoying, <laughs> so yeah. Tag, you're it. Oh, and by the way, there's not exactly an easy way down there. Hope you land on your feet. Oh, God. Ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, well. Oh, it's up here. Oh. Okay, well, you know what? Before we continue any further... I think this is going to be a good spot to go ahead and uh, end this episode off for now. And we will continue on next time. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.